If I had to describe Peter in one word, it would be outgoing. He's a calm guy. I know him as an activist and a person who is very passionate about what he does. Encouraging. Uh, Peter is an amazing man. Very humble guy and very intelligent. It would be inspiration. My favorite memory of Peter was when uh, we were running late to catch the plane when Peter visited us the first time. So when we arrived at the airport, Peter and I took off running with Peter's luggage uh, as if really to, to hold the plane. When we reached the entrance to departure, uh, we had no words and we just hugged and laughed and said goodbye without a word. And sometimes he gets out of his way to have fun with the young people. When he came to Alive Medical Services with Sarah, with the Wonder Bank from South Africa. When he came to visit Amos and recognized each one of us. Uh, when he came with Sarah, the inventor of Wonder Bank, and he shared with us how they can uh, be used as um, drug carriers, especially the Olympia syrups that we give to our patients. Those without refrigerators, wonder bags can be used to maintain temperatures. Seeing him dancing with the dancing with clans, beating local drums. One of my favorite memories of Peter was when we were preparing abstracts for the International AIDS Conference 2014. Once we had agreed on the two topics that we wanted to write abstracts on, Peter and Taylor just spent a few minutes and I was so surprised at the ease with which they brought out this abstract. And uh, it's interesting that both abstracts were approved and um, we presented the posters at the AIDS conference in 2014. I remember laughing with Peter Tryman when we were presenting to him a gift and he danced the Ugandan local dance of the Chichiga. It was very nice. I remember laughing with Peter while enjoying a Ugandan cultural dance that was being presented to some of the visitors he had brought to Alive Medical Services. Really, almost all the time, Peter has a way of making you relax in his presence. Don't feel like uh, he is your boss. He has a very good sense of humor, and uh, whenever we meet, whether in Kampala or New York City, we talk about different things and we laugh. I really enjoyed interacting with Peter. It's a recurrent laughter. Whenever Peter arrives in Uganda and we are welcoming him, we are full of laughter and love. And when we arrive in the US or any time he's in Uganda and we are meeting that morning for the first time. So it's usually full of laughter. And I wish Peter to him and a very successful future in his career. God should give him more knowledge and wisdom to impact more lives. I want to wish Peter the best of times ahead and the happiness that he wishes for. A very, very bright future. All the best that life can offer. The sky is not the limit. I wish you all the best and love you lots. I want to wish you all the best wherever God is taking you next. I pray that you continue to bless you and that he will use you as a channel of blessings to many people. You, you, you will continue to be a great leader wherever you go and that you will influence thousands of people all over the world. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your humility. It was so easy to work with you. Thank you for being just you. We love you, Peter. As Alive Medical Services, we are very grateful to keep a child alive and to Peter especially. Uh, during the time that Peter was the CEO of Keep a Child Alive, we have grown uh, not only in numbers, but we have systems in place. It was when Peter was in office that we reorganized our M&E and, &E and our data. We began to clean our data. Really very professional. So Peter has really helped us to grow and also during the time when he was in office he made us work without worry because I don't remember 
Peter turning down any request we made that was relevant. So we are very grateful to Peter as AMS because we were able to serve at least 16,000 HIV positive clients uh, by the time he is uh, stepping up.